This is uh, LST 393, which is landing ship tank. It's one of only two that still float. There were hundreds of these built, maybe thousands. And I'm going to take a tour here um, through this uh, ship. This vessel served in uh, World War II over in Normandy. And uh, it would get really close up to the shore and then the army tanks and vehicles and troops would come down the uh, ramp over here. And uh, so we're going to go up inside. Uh, originally, um, after World War II, the ship was uh, bought by Sand Products Company and they ran it as an automobile carrier between Muskegon and uh, Milwaukee. It was known as the Highway 16, which is uh, named after the uh, old highway in Michigan. They have various displays over here. That's Glenn Miller's Moonlight Serenade, something I've played many, many times uh, in the big bands I play in. Got all sorts of displays here. This is actually the tank deck. That's where the uh, Sherman tanks used to be. The information I have, this uh, ship was uh, built in 1942 and decommissioned in 1946. So it was only in the military service for uh, four years. Okay. The uh, washrooms here. And the uh, bunk beds and locker rooms. Can you imagine being cooped up in uh, a bunk this size? Looks like about four feet. I'm six feet tall, guess where I would be. But they were cooped up here for weeks on end while they journeyed across the uh, Atlantic. I hope I got some of this just in case, but this is a, uh, a uh, EMD um, locomotive engine made by General Motors. It's a two cycle. And that's connected to this uh, generator here, I do believe. Let's go back over here. As I said before, this is uh, looking into the uh, air box. And right up in here, that, that's a cylinder. You can't see it in there, but there are some scavenging ports in there. And uh, that thing up there in the front, I'll go back over here. This is the roots blower, like you see on dragster engines. Okay? And then your, uh, these are your uh, exhaust ports that come up here. the other engine there's another uh, EMD locomotive engine
well maybe it wasn't generator but this here down here that's a lathe shaft lever and this here works the uh, the fuel rack which controls the amount of fuel that goes into the cylinder and then it goes this over here this this here is the uh, the governor over speed uh, relay over here um, they put out 1200 horsepower maximum of uh, 800 rpm and uh, these are your fuel filters right here so there's another uh, another view of the roots blower Detroit diesels and dragster engines uh, have something very similar to this and you, if you look at it um, it's kind of it does look like a roots blower <clears throat> So well, apparently this is a gearbox that's on here, I guess. Uh, I thought it was diesel electric, but apparently it's not. So you can imagine how hot it would be down here. Um, it's hot here right now without the engines running. You can imagine how hot this would really be. Um, these things just lift off, but if I lift that off, I'll probably get yelled at. Inside there, um, per cylinder, you have three uh, rocker arms, and the middle one is the fuel injector, and the, uh, the outside two are your exhaust valves. So it works the opposite of a uh, Detroit diesel, and uh, in a Detroit diesel, the uh, roots blower would be right up on top and then the air would come down through and then it would be exhausted out here okay and they would have an exhaust manifold that comes out and this is the opposite way that the air comes from the roots blower into here and then it goes through the exhaust valves out here and out out here so that's how that works that's the difference between the two Okay, right down here it's very difficult to see, but that's the uh, that's the fuel pump, and there's your fuel line going down to the fuel tank. Yeah, there's something else I forgot to tell you. There, these here, these are compression releases, <clears throat> so they're they're also used to uh, purge any moisture out of the. Uh, cylinders such as water that gets in there because it can damage the piston. But when you start these things you just simply open this up here and it's a uh, it's a compression release. And I used to work these things on uh, 5208 XCNO and W2. So let's see what it says here. Yeah, eight and a half inch bore with a 10 inch stroke. So it says 900 uh, brake horsepower. 744 RPM. Um, on the railroad, they're set up for a maximum of 800 RPM. Okay, this is the uh, galley. Okay, this is the view of the uh, pilot house.